In this video, we'll be introducing the topic of automated content creation with a player-generated reinforcement learning signal. To do that, we'll be walking through an example in Unreal Engine in which a user demonstrates their preferences concerning the components of a game while they're interacting with it, and then the game automatically adjusts or creates components based on those preferences. At its extreme, this technique could be used to completely repattern the script or feel of a piece of software based upon subconscious user feedback. I believe these methods likely represent the next frontier in game development and perhaps even art, entertainment, and user interfaces more generally. In that scenario, none of the content is fixed, but rather continually adjusts to the user as they interact with it. To begin with an overview, in reinforcement learning, an AI changes its behavior strategically based upon rewards received while interacting with the environment. Reinforcement learning currently powers best-in-class chess bots such as AlphaZero and could actually be the key to achieving artificial general intelligence. If you're interested in learning more about reinforcement learning, it's a topic that I explore at length in the book Outsmarted Reinforcement Learning, Its Promise and Peril. Returning to the example, we're looking at there are three portals and the player has to pick one in order to proceed to the next level. Each of the portals could be a shape of a particular design or color, but unbeknownst to the player, these portals also represent a kind of game. One in which the AI is attempting to guess what shape the user prefers, and in the future present them with more portals that look like that. At first, the AI has no information by which to guess the user's preferences and simply generates random portals. However, the moment the user chooses between one of these random portals, the AI has now received a feedback signal. And this feedback signal indicates the design and makeup that that user will probably appreciate most. So that the next time the AI presents the user with a choice of portals, it can use its past interactions with the user to better guess what they prefer. As this process repeats, the AI should eventually hone in on the unique preferences of that user and generate portals that are consistent with those patterns of desire. So imagine that unbeknownst to the AI, our player has a preference for triangle-shaped portals. As such, we will assume that as they pick among the portals, they will be choosing on average a greater number of triangle-shaped ones than other shapes. Over time, we would like our AI to learn this preference and display more triangle-based portals when selecting what to show to the user. Bear in mind that this could be any characteristic or combination of characteristics that we are automating for. And since these all can be procedurally generated to create an arbitrarily large solution space, the number of unique patterns available to the AI is infinite. But returning to our simple example, as the user selects triangle-shaped portals, we'll be looking to see the frequency with which the AI chooses to display triangles versus other shapes. Once we have validated that the AI has learned this simple preference, we could e extend it to more complicated use cases, say in which the AI is exploring a very large solution space, perhaps even selecting what characters in the game look like, or what kind of quests the user is presented with. Let's quickly walk through this portal-based example in Unreal Engine blueprints that are using the FreeMindMaker machine learning plugin. And we can see how easy it is to begin implementing some of this automated content. After each episode of the game, we have some blueprint functions which generate reward observation and action data based upon the user selection. This in turn gets passed to the MindMaker Deep Reinforcement Learning algorithm, which will then decide what shape to choose next for the portal based upon those user interactions it has thus far encountered. There are a lot of ways to fine tune these algorithms, the hyperparameters. We can access all of that within MindMaker by selecting the depth of the neural network, etc. To test it, we have selected 50 training episodes, after which the AI will switch over from training to trying to guess the shape that the user prefers. Prior to that, it will mostly be making random guesses and observing their results. If it is learned correctly, depending on what shape the player chooses, it will adjust one of the portals accordingly so there will be more of that shape presented. 
It's really as simple as that. The AI gets a reward every time it guesses correctly, and from that reward, it can learn the user's preferences. Over time, we would like to see the AI choose more of the triangle-shaped portals, if that is the shape that the user has been selecting. And this is exactly what happens. After about 50 trials in which the player consistently chooses triangles, the AI will almost cease showing any other shape for the portal that it is controlling. Critically though, it never completely stops showing other shapes, so this allows that the player's preferences can evolve over time if, say, they get bored of seeing triangles and wish to start seeing more of another shape. All of that can be controlled within the uh, exploration exploitation trade-off variable. So to get started using these tools, you can download the MindMaker machine learning plugin for free from the Unreal Engine Marketplace. There's a link in the video description. And as always, please leave any questions or feedback in the comments section.